Thank you so much for joining. Today, it is the spooky Halloween and creator three-in-one week, and I'm happy to bring you a review and just kind of showcase the builds from the creator three-in-one set number 30578, the German Shepherd. So this one was originally, I believe, a Lego exclusive and also available in Target if you could get your hands on it. Uh, I immediately, when I heard this was coming out, I loved the colors. And I, as uh, per usual, I love Creator 3 in 1 and these little builds. So I snatched one up. I was actually, I probably should have grabbed a bunch of these. Um, I think this one's going to be fairly valuable as it retires on the market. So let's get into the first build that I gave a shot at here and it is the uh, scorpion and it passed the test I always after I build these I ask the kids hey what do you think this is and she's like that's a little scorpion so big win there um, here are the instructions of course I didn't do that earlier and it didn't give you the instructions for this uh, it basically tells you to go and download them, which uh, I did that immediately and was able to build this little guy. Uh, before I get into the build itself, there's all of the spare parts uh, from the overall set. You know, the set does have only 76 parts, which doesn't seem uh, like a lot, but you actually do, it does feel like uh, quite a bit of parts. There's a real mix of small and then decent size, and of course, and of course, the the thing that attracted me to this was the those uh, light brown colors are just great to get. I don't have a lot of sets that have very much. Those are newer uh, colors in Lego's repertoire. So with that, here is the little uh, scorpion. The uh, the legs go, just go down like this. And they, they're posable, they can kind of do different things. And then it's got little little choppers right here that kind of move up and down. And then the tail also moves. It doesn't go sideways, but it uh, goes up and down. And I thought it was real cool, the, the body. The eyes always give this a lot of character. And the connection points were all very, very interesting how this was all set up. And then a little orange disc which I guess would be appropriate that could be because the uh, uh, scorpions have kind of that, that tan or pink. Um, and that would also be a good use of parts, given that they use the orange disc in every single build. So next up will be the snake. I think it might be a cobra. And like that, next. And we have the snake. I guess it would be the cobra. Uh, because he's got he's kind of up and he's got the the full hood i don't i don't know it's not really a cobra maybe more of a serpent i don't know um this build was okay it w didn't take very many parts uh at all and it was kind of repetitive because you kind of had the same builds over and over and uh here is the back side which it really doesn't look like a snake this part does only downside is it kind of this type of connection does isn't very uh doesn't have a lot of clutch power i guess is the way to to do it or or hinge stiffness <laughs> it's a new term that i'm coining so again it this really does showcase a lot of the great light brown parts it does have a lot of uh personality it is cute uh, but definitely not my favorite. I think I like the scorpion a little bit better. So next up, we have the German Shepherd himself. We will get to you on the next segment. The grand finale. German Shepherd in his pose and everything. Although I think the pose right here, <laughs> that likely must have had some uh, green screen, blue screen action because 
uh, near impossible. However, the impressive thing was I was able to get it pretty balanced here. You have to be careful because as soon as you do a little bit too much, uh, it does tip over a little bit. Oh, I've got it pretty good there. So leaning back on his tail, that is the way to go. Uh, but as soon as... Oh, there. Look at that. Boy, it's pretty impressive <laughs> overall. I was uh, one of the things I was shocked about once I went with the did the final build on the German Shepherd is that they really used almost every part. There's only four spare parts left <laughs> right here. And uh, uh, probably the only thing I don't really like about this German Shepherd build is that there really isn't any side to side motion. Uh, it's a little sloppy here. If it was more rigid, you could do some of those crazy poses. Um, but it's just the, with the grab, there isn't much uh, clutch in those. Um, it does stay very well. You can pose it in a few different things, just like that. But you really can't do, you know, quite like some of the other creator three-in-ones that you'll see with the ball joints or, uh, you know, with the head. They actually had, there it's actually... Uh, Right in there, it's more of a joint, so it's a little bit less loose, just like the the legs. Uh, the tail is not side to side, so it can't wag it, which is a little bit of a miss. But uh, overall, I think they probably had to do that to kind of save on parts. You know, really, that's one of the highlights for me in this set, is that you just get such great light tan uh, bricks or light brown, excuse me, <laughs> light tan, light brown bricks with a little bit of brown, some nice black pieces, uh, and then there's even some uh, dark tan in here as well that are going to be pretty useful uh, in mocks, both curved and then also the inverted curves. So really, I mean, <laughs> for a five dollar creator three-in-one poly bag this is uh it's pretty cute definitely was a, a hit when the, I, I showed it off to the kids they knew exactly what all the builds were and thought it was pretty cute here you go his mouth he barks woof, woof. um so very fun and it was a nice nice little playable i would say of all the builds this is probably the most again the the finale is the most uh, displayable. You know, one thing I would say, oh, there he goes, he lost his balance, is that his nose, um, in certain angles, doesn't always look great. Like, from straight on, or even if you look at that, he kind of looks like Pinocchio a little bit. But, but that's okay. I think overall, it was a very good build so that does it for the creator three and one uh if you're you're lucky if you see it definitely snatch it it's technically it was target and lego only uh so it was an exclusive and i i pretty much from all the targets that i've been into it's always been wiped out it's set number three zero five seven eight the german shepherd it is 76 pieces of greatness here in this creator three in one i am super thrilled again i should have bought a couple of these <laughs> they're that good and uh again i appreciate you so much for watching and hanging in there to the end we made it through the scorpion the uh, cobra and the finale with the german shepherd so thanks for watching <laughs>